Hi, I am Alex Bizu with quick tips on how to write a torts essay for the Washington State Bar Exam, a successful a passing torts essay for the bar exam. Listen, torts is a heavily tested area. Uh, there may be up to three essays, three full essays on torts, or it can be blended with agency, with community property, you know, Henry, Henry and Wanda. Um, went to some store and the kid was just running loose and um, did something stupid so they're now liable and you have this uh, special damages and um, uh, general damages that are uh, I mean uh, community property and separate property that would be special damages and general damages so um, be aware of those blends now the torts and my outline, that is the shortest outline I have ever seen, that's 30 page for all subjects and three, uh, three pages or so on torts, uh, is the best outline where you find all the rule statements, is organized uh, for intentional torts, for negligence, for strict liability, business torts, and defamation. On intentional torts you will hit, and if it's an intentional torts essay, you go like it's 15, essay, uh, 15 uh, issues per essay, so you you address them quick. Uh, it's, it's a horse race, so you remember those intentional torts. Uh, Bafizi is mnemonic that I use. A battery, assault, false imprisonment, intentional infliction of emotional distress, trespass to land, trespass to chattel, and conversion. Uh, of course, there are defenses to intentional torts. Address them. Mm. On negligence essay, you always follow the classic model, duty, breach, causation, and damages. I join in several liabilities intervening, superseding causes, defenses to negligence, contributory negligence, assumption of risk, 50% uh, rule for intoxicated uh, plaintiffs. They may not recover, you know, if they are contributory negligence and intoxicated, um, more than 50% at fault. Um, and the most of your essay uh, on uh, negligence will be occupied by the establishing of standard of care, of course. How do we establish standard of care? Any person must act as a reasonable person would under the circumstances. You mentioned that first. After that, you go to the standard of care that they invite you to talk about. Most likely they will test uh, standard of care for children, you know, for the child of the same age, education, um, experience uh, and maturity, uh, for the standard for disabled, um, standard in emergencies, good Samaritans, standard for parents, um, standard for common carriers in keepers, standard for owners of premises to um, and the duties that they owe to trespassers, invitees and licenses. Uh, distinguish between those. O also remember if they give you a statute that's negligence per se situation, the Washington doesn't have that unless it's a specific auto ac accident uh, or some other specific torts. Uh, that's all in my outline. Recipes allocator will give you breach, um, you know, uh, that this harm does not occur absent some negligence on uh, somebody was must have been negligent so it's reps recipes a locator situation um, if you have um, two ta tort feasors then you know that you will uh, you will address joint and several liability if they are husband and wife you will go into community property issues too if uh, and and for two tort feasors, you will also have contributory negligence, and you start with Washington is a con uh, pure comparative uh, negligence state. Uh, the plaintiff may recover uh, to the degree of his non-negligence, and you move on from there. On defamation essay, you may see constitutional law, First Amendment blended into uh, uh, into this issue of defamation. Uh, you will address um, uh, defamation and also remember invasion of privacy you know misappropriation um, uh, false light public disclosure of private facts those are separate torts you may address them separately but invasion of privacy is, is, is an umbrella tort uh, so that uh, can be also on defamation and say most likely it will be a bundle you know they will invite you to talk about both by giving you the simple fact of uh, somebody uh, using this private information or making some defamatory statement. I advise you to do seven essays on intentional torts, seven essays on negligence, or up to seven essays on negligence, three essays on defamation, four essays on strict liability on, and, and product liability. Uh, so it will be between tw 20 and 25 essays total on torts in your study course. I did 21, that was enough for me. If you're still not confident in, in some area, just do 
a couple of more essays. Mm, so that would be enough uh, uh, to write a successful essay in that area. I wish you all the best on the Washington State Bar Exam. And be successful in everything you do, you know, enjoy and have fun studying. Listen my lectures, they're free. Uh, study my uh, outline, it's the shortest ever created for the Washington State Bar. And thank you for your time, I see you in my other videos. Bye-bye.